Hi, this is Claude Diamond with uh, Anthony Martinez, the health coach once again. Anthony, I wanted to just briefly get your idea. You talk a lot about plant-based or whole food diets and everything. I mean, are you trying to make a, um, I, I, you know, some people out there, they like their steaks and, and chicken and stuff like that. Uh, you trying to make the world into a vegan, uh, a vegan village or something? <laughs> well, you know, that's a great question. I'm, I'm really trying to get people to move towards that. I won't tell you not to eat steak or chicken, but I will, you know, tell you to reduce if, if you could reduce it a little bit, that would be very good. Um, of course, I'm going to encourage you more towards to move towards a more plant-based diet because the scientific research shows that that's what our bodies are designed to eat. And if you're interested in uh, lowering your cholesterol, reversing heart disease, not not stopping and not slowing down heart disease, but reversing heart disease and reversing cancerous and precancerous cells and things like that. The, uh, the, the scientific research does show that plant-based diet will do that. Well, there are cultures, uh, the Tarahumara Indians, uh, there's some islands out in the South Pacific, uh, very in indigenous cultures, uh, Aborigines in New Guinea, Pau Pau New Guinea, uh, many different cultures where people who still live in the wild or live off the 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 foods that nature uh, provides without eating processed things, just eating uh, the tubers from the ground, the fish from the ocean, and things like that. Um, they don't have in, they don't have the incidence of heart disease and cancers like we do in this modern Western supermarket Big Mac culture, do they? That's right, and it has been shown through uh, major epide epidemiological studies. Hard word. <laughs> which is, uh, you know, the study of which diseases are upon the people. Uh, it has been shown that these di these diseases are localized to different populations that live around certain industrial centers, or and based on the t and based on the types of diets that they eat. So not only can if they eat a more plant based whole food diet, and it doesn't have to be um, twenty four seven. I mean, if they if they break it apart, maybe they have a Something, um, some fresh fruit for breakfast, maybe um, some hummus or or carrot sticks or an apple for lunch, and maybe a, a you know something on the lighter side also, but nutritious for dinner. Yes. Um, without all the processed uh, processed stuff, the the microwave dinners and so forth, um, what kind of results will they see uh, nutritionally, and uh, will that affect their weight? I just thought about that. It affects. It will affect their weight automatically. The weight, you will start losing weight if you move more towards a plant-based diet. Now, I work in a health food store currently, and I hear countless testimonies of people that were struggling with obesity. All the way, if you go off the whole spectrum to even extreme athletes that have moved towards more of a plant-based diet, and the results are tremendous. The obese people will lose weight. The athletes have more stamina. It's really all of the little nuances that a person wouldn't even think about in their lives that get improved. Uh, just psychologically, they feel better emotionally. Your body just runs a lot better. Now, for myself, I've had a sciatica and a bulging disc for seven years. I've been through two years of um, physical therapy, and I just thought it was something I was going to have to live with. And I recently switched to this diet, and I mean, for the first time, within a couple of weeks – gone. And when I asked uh, my friend who's an expert about that, he was telling me that it's because the amount of inflammation in the body is reduced. And there's a lot of uh, literature out there now stating that uh, most diseases are related to some form of inflammation. Now, I know, Claude, you recently have also made some changes and uh, have done uh, moved more towards this kind of a plant-based diet. What are some of your results? Share with Well, you know, I'm a runner. I run every day. And I've always, uh, and uh, my wife and I have always watched what we eat. We have big salads for dinner and stuff like that. We really don't have a lot of processed food. But I changed more, um, uh, more to a plant-based diet. In the for breakfast, I, I'm the person who'll have kale and chopped carrots and celery and and things like that. And and that gets me through to lunch. And then for dinner, my wife and I always have a big salad with some not the heavy greasy dressing, but balsamic uh, vinegar or something light. 
and we'll have a, you know, may have some fresh fish on the grill, some halibut or tilapia or something like that, or maybe just a gazpacho, uh, a bean soup or something like that, or a lentil soup or a lot of rice and beans. And what I've seen is I, um, I am running now. I ran, um, I ran a marathon and a half marathon. My marathon time was 347. Um, 30, 30 years ago, my best time was three, uh, 337. I'm running, I'm running, I think if I stay on this, on a long-term basis, I am going to be running better than I ever did before. I ran a half marathon in 131 in Coronado. That's the best time I've ever run in my life. And I'm not a spring chicken. I know I have this baby face, but I'm seeing results. I feel better. I'm performing at, in my athletics because uh, I love to run. I'm just f- running fast and I'm not breathing hard. I'm not, my body's not straining. I, it's hard to put in the words without sounding like a, you know, a fanatic or, so, or, you know, a fanatic or something, but I just feel better on this diet. So thanks to you uh, and your encouragement, um, uh, who knows, you know, we're, what's going to happen um, uh, with the, staying on this diet uh, is just phenomenal for performance for athletes. And I hear, I hear that so much. Everybody who goes this route gets incredible results and still gets to enjoy their life. And, uh, you know, we're not back in the day where – there wasn't a lot to eat. I mean, the, the recipes are out there. There's lots of delicious food made by Mother Nature, uh, produced by, you know, the creator. Uh, and um, it's just delicious. I mean, you can really enjoy life. Oh, I agree. You know, the, the thing, a little tip that, you know, thanks to you and, and learning about this and reading books like Forks Over Knives and the China Study and books that you encourage me to read. Um and, you know, it's funny, uh, whenever we go out to, in the car, we go on a trip or we go shopping or something, we always take a little bag or cooler of apples or chopped carrots or a banana. And we always have food in the car, good, healthy food. So we can drive past the In-N-Out Burger, you know, which is tempting. Some, and there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. I, I'm more of a flex of a, a flexitarian, if you will. But the thing is, you can uh, you can be prepared as a good Boy Scout and and not have to fall into that all that temptation all the time. Anthony, this has been just so great. Thank you for sharing with people your concepts of good health and longevity and nutrition and just feeling better. Um,